babe, are you already Instagramming these amazing Instagram shots? Not yet. You just enjoy? Really tired. Probably have an attitude because she what? she wants to be in the room. We just got here in Dubai. It was mint lemonade. Here with our friend Reina. We met her in Tokyo two years ago. We're sisters, and this is you. Yes. And that's I. What's your name? What's your name? And we're still friends. So cheers to friendship. friendship. <laughs> she said we have to try the mint lemonade. I've been downing this thing. What? It's like a hundred degrees at night. Oh. I was like just guessing. It's almost a hundred degrees, and it's the most humid place I've ever been on Earth. More humid than Florida. We thought Orlando was humid. 110 degrees here during the day. Hopefully, it's okay to vlog in here, but I want to show you guys one of the reasons why Raina picked this place is because I wanted to try some Arabic food since we're only here for a layover. I love pickles. These are such bright colored pickles. Regular standard salad, feta cheese salad, bag. Baba ganoush, a green bean salad, olive salad, beet salad, potato salads. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, that looks good. Some grilled meat, beef kebabs. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Calamari. Oh wow, there you go, calamari. Real charcoal fire right here. Lamb dish with some kind of like spiced rice, some shrimp. Herbs, all kinds of herbs. Can't not have some sushi if it's a buffet. There's a roasted beef, roasted lamb leg. I'm definitely trying that. Roasted hammer, a whole fish. That looks pretty dope. Okay, yeah, fresh fries. This is how they serve the Moroccan tea here. Higher. Oh, wow. The higher the better? Yes. <laughs> The guests really appreciate it. And you guys, what this does is it puts air. It helps. It helps. It helps with the flavor, right? The flavor? Yes, yes. They were so nice. They wanted to give Judy this delicious dessert. Welcome to Palace. It's so nice here. It's fogging up. You missed it. You missed your opportunity. Standing in front of the Burj Khalifa. Mm -hmm. It's a fun like blur shot. Is it? It's, it's a so fun. Hot. I'm sweating already. Look at all the dates. This is like fancy date shop. This reminds you of Aladdin. Those dates, dates in the market. Oh, there does he? I didn't even know that was a in scene. Aladdin, yeah. Reina says this is the largest mall in the world. In the world. Can you guys see the sweat dripping from my face? And then right when you enter the mall, you're gonna be blasted with air conditioning. What? There's a five guy. There's a shake shack here. We don't even have that in Seattle. Sure. <laughs> Mind blown with Honey, everything. I don't need to be with you. Like, if you want to go do your makeup thing, you should. You don't need to be. You don't want me to shop with you? Okay, I'm going to go this way. Then let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm here to go shopping. Look at famous chocolate there. I need to be just like in New York. This is the mall at 11 p.m. on the weekends. The mall's open till 2 in the morning. Then in Canada on the weekends, I think the mall closes early. Early, yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't that weird? No, there's an ice rink. This is like Mega Mall in the Philippines. Yeah. There's an ice rink. They have like a hundred times. I have never seen a gigantic Hershey's store like this, you guys. This is kind of ridiculous. I'm kind of like in awe right now of just the grandness. We're on the top floor. Look at this. It's like mirrored ceiling or something. I don't know what's going on here. I'm really fascinated. If you ever are in Dubai and you want to check out something kind of crazy, this mall is crazy. The biggest mall in the world. A waterfall? Like, what is going on here? Okay, forget it. Virgin Megastore in almost 20 years. It used to be all CDs and cassettes. 
Now it's an electronics store. They sell everything. And just like that, we're back in the airport. <laughs> so our next flight is in about two hours. $300,000? Everything you see right here, $300,000. My house costs as much as this little piece of drink. That's crazy. It's 2 in the morning here. I think it's 3 o'clock back at home. We don't get to our destination till I think about 7. So hopefully this flight we're gonna sleep the rest of the way. The unplug is, look at this guy. Why would they do that to people? Really? Why? I would have Why would they? You almost have to have a ladder. Seriously. It's over there too. Just got here to Zanzibar. Of course we knew Africa was a content. We just wanted to keep it a surprise. Zanzibar is part of Tanzania. That's where Convoy Pope serves here in Africa. So. We're so excited to be here. Look who picked us up. Miss oh, hey. oh, What's up? Welcome to Zanzibar. Oh Tanzania. Hey, hey, do you need a ride? I was like, yeah, actually, I do. I don't know. Uber. Is there Uber here? Is there? Yeah, yeah, it's there. In oh. Zanzibar as well? In Zanzibar as well, yeah. This is the nicest Uber on the island. <laughs> Babe, are you already Instagramming these amazing Instagram shots? Not You're just enjoying? Really tired. But we have an attitude because she yeah. she wants to be in the room. You guys, look at this! My gosh, this amazing beach right outside of the back of our hotel. It's amazing, the water, everything. <laughs> and blackberries? You don't want any? The yummy? I know that you want our room, but how do you like the setting here? It's so pristine. The vines, I can't get over it. I know. I want vines like this in my garden. I've actually tried to start them. I saw that. Um, and they'll be better next year. That was a 28 hour journey from Seattle to here, Zanzibar. I'm really looking forward to it. But I know she wants some sleep. I want to work out and then I want to sleep. Oh, look at the birds. It's like a gray and black crow. Oh, that's interesting. Zoom up on that guy. Starting off with watermelon. Fresh squeeze. Cheers. Fresh squeeze. Treat. Tanzania. Cheers to Tanzania and Zanzibar and Sorry, refreshing really stuff. Okay, it. okay. <laughs> you know what would spruce that up? A little bit of lemon. I got tomato mm, with cheese. That looks so really good. Tomato. Uh -huh. I actually don't know what that is. What is it? What? I don't know. Oh, Let's that's see. jackfruit. This one? No, no I, I don't know, know what that's that is. Jackfruit. Okay, yeah. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Oh, oh like potato. Some... It's um croquet, croquet, oh, fritter? potato, potato fritter. fritter. And then we have jackfruit, uh, oh passion fruit. Passion I've never fruit. had raw passion fruit like this before. Oh, ever. really? Like not even to... when we were hiking? Oh, was this what we bit into? Yeah. Can you eat the skin too? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but it looks so different. Look, it's like gooey. Anyway, let's try it. I think you can eat the whole thing, hun. But I'd rather. I'd rather. Mmm. Sour. That is way sour. Really sour. No wonder why I <laughs> so don't sour. eat it. Have you had passion fruit raw like this? You know this? what? This is not passion fruit. <laughs> Tripping. There's something else. No, he did say passion. Oh, did he? It is. Okay. Taste oh, no, it. I'm thinking it of is... guava. Ah, oh, that's the one that we eat from the tree. I told you it's sour. I wonder if you're supposed to sprinkle sugar on it. Mm, I think it's, I think that might be, it's not quite right, but maybe that's how you eat it. Maybe that's the I point. I think so. I mean, 
It's like eating like a calamansi, just straight up. A calamansi is like a Filipino lime. Whew. My mouth is watering just watching you. <laughs> the journey from Seattle to getting to our hotel room, it took 32 hours. Oh my gosh. It was a long journey, but it is well worth it. Our layover in Dubai was great. We enjoyed every single second of it. I really wish we spent more time in Dubai though because it's a beautiful city and we saw just like a tiny fraction of it. But now we're here in Tanzania. Everybody is so friendly. We even met um, a wedding party downstairs. We're having a wedding here. A few girls in the wedding party watch our vlogs. So the bride invited us to come to the wedding and I thought that was really nice. I'm gonna edit for a bit and then clonk out. A much, much needed nap. The wedding is right outside our balcony. But before that, I have to fix my hair because this is happening. I have the worst of luck with the curling iron or I just never learned. I plugged it in just to check if it would work and I think I short circuit the curling iron. Every time, every country I go to, we're gonna call it a night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, night.